Alright, in this ROS2 tutorial, I will show you how to make your own action server client package in Python. We will start off by making our own package, add in the server and client source files, update our setup.py file, build our package, and see the server and client in action. If you're new to my channel, I teach OpenCV, Computer Vision, Python, C++, Git, ROS2, SOLIDWORKS, Mechanical Design, and I have a GitHub that goes along with it. So subscribe to learn more. So here are some Python references if you need a refresher on Python classes, inheritance, and if name is main. So let's go ahead and build our package. So we're going to cd into our source folder here. So cd source, and then run this command. I'm going to paste it here. It's ROS2 package create build type amend Python action tutorials py. And then our dependencies is rclpy action tutorials interfaces. So once we build that, we see, go to our files here. So we have an action tutorials pi, and then we want to go ahead and move our client and uh, server into our folders. So we're gonna move it into the action tutorials pi folder here. So we're gonna go ahead and copy paste those files. So we have our client and server. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And then I'm going to come into here and then paste it and ignore this output here. Okay, so that's, we're going to have those files in there. So now let's go ahead and take a look. So this is our client file here. So we, here we have our imports rclpy, rclpy.action uh, node. So we have the action client and the node. And then here we're importing our Fibonacci from our action, which we declared in one of our earlier tutorials. So here we have our node class. We're inheriting it and we're calling this new one Fibonacci action client. We're having our constructor here. So we set up our action clients, which we will store as action clients and we give it a name of Fibonacci. So the general structure here is we have a send goal, goal response callback, we have a get result callback and a feedback callback. So all of this is run inside our main function here. We do a init, we call the Fibonacci action client, we do a send goal and then a spin. So here we have the main send goal function. So send goal, we get a goal and then we have an order and then we do something where we wait for the server and then we send the goal for the future goal. And then here we have a callback here. So all of this is uh, goal message feedback callback equals self dot feedback callback. So that's the main line here. This is to get our send goal future. And then the next one, send goal future dot add done callback. So this will add our goal response here. So in our goal response callback, we have goal handle equals future dot result. So if not goal handle accepted, then the goal is rejected. Otherwise we say goal accepted. And then we do some uh, right here, get the results future, and then we add the callback. And the get result callback here, we have a result equals future dot result dot results. And then here we're just gonna output the result. And the feedback callback is gonna say received, and then it's gonna do some formatting for us with the sequence of our Fibonacci. So if we take a look at our server, so our server is, has a similar structure as our C++ one, but here again, we have our, we're gonna inherit, we're gonna import the modules that we need, and then we inherit from the node class, create a Fibonacci server, um, action server node here. And then we're gonna have a execute callback here, that's our main function. And we have a simple main here where we init, call the Fibonacci action server, and then we do the spin. So the core logic is the execute callback. So here we do an executing goal, we get a feedback message, and we start off with a partial sequence, zero, 01, and then we loop through based on the order. And then for each iteration, we're gonna go through some steps. So we have a feedback message dot partial sequence dot pen. So we're appending all of the sequence to make it longer and longer. And then here we have a set logger 
we output the feedback and then goal.handle, we publish the feedback and then set a sleep. So here we say goal.handle, goal handle dot succeed, and then we store the results. And then here we have the results as a sequence, and we could return the result. Okay, so we can see that this execute callback here was called inside our constructor. So that's the general structure of the server. And if we come back here, now that we have those files, we want to update our setup.py. So if we go to our file here, setup.py, the parts that we added are these two. So this will allow us to run our main functions for our server and client files. So we'll go ahead and copy that and replace it into our setup.py file here. So this is in our action tutorials.py or action tutorials pi. So we put that in there. And then after we save everything, we could go ahead and build it. So if we go back to our uh, readme here, we want to cd to our workspace and then run the build package commands to build the package. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and run our server. So we're going to go to our ROS2 workspace, which we're already in, source it, and then run the server. So this will start up our server. And then in our other terminal, we're going to start our client. So we're going to paste this, do the same thing, and you can see our server and client is up and running. So we can see each iteration we're getting a new item into our Fibonacci sequence until it's finally finished, as you can see here. Okay, so in my next video, I'm going to talk about components, so go check that out. If you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.